Hi, today I'm showing you how to make some simple bath and body products in addition to some dental care products. So I started with a scrap piece of clay, pressed it flat on both sides, and cut it into the size that I wanted. For the mouthwash, I made a teardrop shape and flattened that on both sides, and then I elongated the neck. Once I had them both finished, I baked them, glazed them, and then I made molds out of both. Then I poured in some resin, and I tinted the one for the mouthwash with blue chalk pastel, and the one for the body wash with pink pearlized paint. When you're working with mold cavities that are this small, it's a good idea to work slowly, drip the resin in on one side, and then of course you want to squeeze from the bottom to make sure you're not trapping any air in the cavity. With something of an irregular shape, like the mouthwash, I just turn the, the mold cavity as I'm working with it. And that way I'm making sure the air is getting squeezed out from all angles. After the resin set, I unmolded everything and sanded off the excess resin, and then I painted labels. I used just regular acrylic paint, but I water it down a little and work slowly. For a razor, I use a small strip of aluminum from a tea light candle and I push it into a lump of pink clay. Then I use my ball tool to push that down a little further and to flatten the rest of the clay around it. Finally, I cut it off into a rectangle and made a simple um, handle out of another piece of pink clay. I attached it and baked them. And then after that, I painted on details with white paint. For shaving cream, I cut a small cylinder, and then I cut a little piece off the top, and that was going to become my cap. So I took the cap, and I put that on one ball tool, and I used another ball tool to just add some definition and refinement along the gap, um, on the cap. For lotion, I ended up doing a Bath and Body Works um, style lotion. And after I made this video and before I get a chance to publish it, Tanya at Sugar Charm Shop did an awesome um, video tutorial on Bath and Body Works products. So she and, she and I did a couple of the same things. Check her out, she's great. For toothpaste, I just flattened out a cylinder and then I used the back of my knife to flatten a little bit more for the end of the tube and then crimped it with the back of the knife as well. For deodorant, I just flattened a small stick it to the size that I wanted and then cut in a little groove with my knife. Then I took a smaller piece of clay and made a circle and then refine that just a little bit with my ball tool. And then I put that into the groove that I made with the knife. For the top of the shave cream, I made a mold of it after I baked it. And then I hollowed out, put some clay on the inside and hollowed it out. Then I painted everything. And 
add gaps. For my loofah or my puff, I use an organza bag and I cut mine into strips and then cut the strips into little scallops. And then I threaded the needle with some green thread and then I put the needle only through the narrow parts of the scallop and then twisted it after every puncture. So every time I put the needle in, I would twist it and then put the needle in it and then twist it again. I double knot the thread at the end and tied it off. And then I used Mod Podge and I went over the thread, the knot at the end. And then just for safe, um, just to be safe, I went on ahead and Mod Podge all of the poof as well. Just so nothing would unravel at some point later. That would be embarrassing. For a toothbrush, I just simply shaped a, sim yeah, shaped a simple handle, cut it out, and press flat on one side with a pair of tweezers. Then I baked it, and then I used some small fibers, which I actually just used uh, dental floss. Flattened those, and used super glue to glue them in place. I only did four layers of, or four rows, of um, bristles. But with every alternating row, I painted it with a blue and water mixture. Blue paint and water. So water, just a lot of water and a little bit of blue paint. And then I would paint over the bristles. And then I'd add another white layer and then paint another blue layer. And then, go from there. And then I just added some detailing. And everything was done. If you like videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks.